That's the reason for the uh, full freeway closure. It was uh, pretty much five or six hours here, and we still have a backup from at least Reseda Boulevard. Uh, even with lanes open, uh, that's probably going to take a while to recover. Ventura Boulevard, not looking too great here. Um, I'd probably get up to Victor. Use that across the valley floor, and that should help you out at least a little bit. Yeah, at 615, they said it was open, so I went ahead and said that. I kind of got over to uh, no, it's not open. But now it is. Finally, West 101 finally reopened. Now, southbound south of the 101 in Lancashire, we've had a three car crash in the middle lanes. Southbound 101 at Highland, that Highland off ramp is closed. So the 101 is not good. It's back up on the 170, which is almost slow from Oxnard. Next traffic report, five from the 20 Hill Sunday 24 hour traffic center. A little warmer today, so we'll have 90s again in our uh, warmer spots, and then we'll start to drop after this. Much more on what's happening. Happening at LA City Hall. We keep saying that uh, there is a new president in charge. They're going to talk about expanding the council. More protests expected today. These two, two council members that are being criticized still hanging on. More in minutes, 657. You want out of a relationship? Yes, with my big name wireless carrier. That's why I switched to Xfinity Mobile. They can even save you hundreds of bill. I definitely foresaw all this. Seeing savings today. Switch to the fastest mobile service, Xfinity Mobile. Now with the best price on two lines. Line per month. Xfinity Internet requires price comparison for two unlimited lines under available five-year pricing plans of top three carriers. Taxes and fees extra. Reduced speeds up to 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Comcast analysis of mobile Wi-Fi and cellular data from Upa's Speed Test Intelligence Q2 2022. The following is an attorney advertisement. If you get sidelined by a workplace injury, the workers' compensation attorneys at Boxer and Gerson can help get you back in for the treatment and compensation you deserve. We care about justice for injured workers. That's what makes us Northern California's premier workers' comp law firm. Call Boxer and Gerson at 510-345-23. Visit BoxerLaw.com for a free consultation. Boxer and Gerson, your life is worth the fight. Every year, we say, well, wake up earlier, exercise more, really rest, and eat healthier. It's hard for us, but for dogs, not so much. Dogs are up at dawn, run for fun, sleep like champs, and they love eating fresh, healthy food every single meal. Give your dog another healthy habit. Real fresh food from the Farmer's Dog. Get 50% off your first box at thefarmersdog.com slash radio. Make a difference as a nurse at Vitas Healthcare and earn a little sum payout after your first year. With our new Difference Maker program, team members who care for patients at the bedside will be rewarded for their commitment with a lump sum payout after they reach their one-year anniversary. Eligible positions include our LPNs, LVNs, and team managers. To earn your lump sum payout after your first year, apply today at careers.vitas.com. Funds.com Studios. KMX AM FM and HD Los Angeles. It's always live on the free Odyssey app. This is KNX News 97.1 FM. All that matters to you. Coming up, new poll for the mayor's race shows Caruso and Bass in a statistical bad heat. More protests expected at L.A. City Hall today as they talk about expanding. And new doubts over the L.A. County homeless count, whether that's accurate or not. This is KNX News 97.1 FM. It's 7 o'clock. This is the CBS World News Roundup, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. I'm Stacy. Washington. President Biden has a plan to help keep the price at the pump in check. He's releasing the reserve. So what does this mean? Oil analyst Tom Closer. There's a lot of factors you can't control. The question is, does Vladimir Putin decide to cut off further oil beyond what gets boycotted? And the second thing is, is it going to be a cold winter? I mean, if it were warmer than normal, it would be a real boom. Otherwise, of paying twice as much for eating oil or diesel as you pay for gasoline. The latest Russian missile attacks have knocked out 30% of Ukraine's power stations. The UN's Denise Brown says it is concerning with winter on the way. We have, and of this I'm absolutely convinced, a high risk of mortality during the winter months with families and communities who have been left with, with absolutely nothing. Meantime, Russian President Putin has just declared martial law on four annexed regions of Ukraine. Accurate test for a cancer that kills 4,000 American women each year. Here's CBS's Vicki Barker. The new test detects the cell changes that immediately precede cervical cancer with more accuracy than existing procedures, leading to hopes of ever 
treatment. It can also pick up DNA markers for some other common cancers, and the researchers hope it can be used to predict breast, womb, and ovarian cancer. A cancer vaccine could be a reality within the next 10 years, according to the people behind the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. They say they have several trials taking place using a similar protein makeup that looks promising. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis with some encouraging news in the aftermath. The Sanibel Causeway in three different places, uh, but today I'm happy to report that starting at 11 a.m will be reopened for the citizens of Lee County. Well, this will surely call in Idaho. Your CBS is Jim Crisola. A group called the Idaho Family Policy Center says a measure will be introduced to the state legislature to ban drag performances in all public venues. It will happen in the first days of the next state legislature that begins in January. The Spirit JetBlue budget airline merger has just been approved by shareholders. JetBlue will acquire Spirit for $3.8 billion. They need federal regulators to sign on the dotted line, assuring them it won't harm competition and jack up prices. Speaking of prices, markets are open and in the red this morning, the Dow is down 88 points. This is CBS News. Presented by Rocket Mortgage. Whether you're looking to purchase a new home or refinance yours, Rocket Mortgage can help you get there. For home loan solutions that fit your life, Rocket can. This is LA's Morning News. On KNX News, 97.1 FM. The people you know. The voices you trust. 703, I'm Mike Simpson. And I'm Vicki Moore. A big story this morning, still at LA City Hall. A lot of people still want these two council members out. We're going to get to that. There's this new poll, though, that shows developers. Caruso in the mayor's race has moved ahead of Congresswoman Karen Bass just a little bit. We get more live from our John Baird. That poll shows that Rick Caruso has about a three-point lead over Karen Bass, roughly 40% to 37%. As we head into the final weeks of the campaign, about 23% of those polled were... When you factor in the margin of error, it's actually considered a dead heat right now, a tie, and could be looking at a nail biter right up until the end. Loyal Law School political analyst Jessica Levinson. I think it makes sense that during this time in an election that things would tighten and that given what's happening in Los Angeles, things would tighten. The people who answered Caruso would do a better job dealing with the economy, with homelessness and poverty, and crime and public safety, not to mention managing the city's finances. Caruso is a businessman after all. Mike those polled also feel that when it comes to dealing with city hall corruption, which is a huge issue right now, Karen Bass and Rick Caruso are about even. All right, John, thanks. So the council is trying to get back to uh, some sort of business, do something, and it's a second straight day of meetings that they're going to have virtually, kind of like yesterday. And they say this is a COVID uh, precaution, several people tested positive. So here's what they're wanting to do. They want to begin the process of placing a measure on ballot 2024 or maybe And for the LAUSD, they're also exploring a ballot measure that would increase the number of council districts in LA. Protesters might show up again today. They tried to get into the chambers yesterday, even though it was virtual. Uh, they want the resignations of council. And they don't want meetings to be continuing until those two step down. We'll be speaking with the new council president, uh, Paul Krikorian, coming up 845. So later this morning. We were talking about the current scandal and what's happening in LA City Hall. Um, we're also talking about our reaction to it and his initial response and what it is now. Uh, KNX talked to him. You'll hear his remarks and more. And also with some controversy over the latest homeless count in L.A. County. Last to tell you. Stay tuned. 705. And Jennifer York traffic. So there's so much going on, especially in the Valley. On the 101 and the 4 block, we're going to go right up to Scott. He's flying in the Southern California Tunnel. There's Sky 3 Scotty. Okay, we're up at the 305 right now. We have a 